Yo, I'm back with some more Hell of a Boss. We're going to be checking out Season 1, Episode 4 in this video. Really excited to return to that off-the-wall dark comedy. Cannot wait to see what our three imps and the Hellhound Luna are going to get into in this episode. So let's not waste any more time and jump into it. The Pearly Gates? I'm Cletus. Welcome to heaven. If you did something good to get here, and good people deserve to give loved ones wait. special blessings. Wait, we're dealing with heaven this episode? Oh, they're putting a. There's something we can do. We can help keep them alive. So you can watch them thrive. Cause here at CHG, are you B? Cherub? It's trademarked, bro. It's a registered trademark. Are you B? No, we never even ask a B. Because good people. Unlike uh, Blitzo's. Um... Oh my goodness. Unlike Blitz's organization, right? His business. They charge a fee, they don't. <laughs> six 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 news. Uh -huh. Keep going. Keep what going. the heck? I say, I say, are you looking to get work making crazy contraptions and goofy gadgets? Well, call me at Wacky Wally Watford's Wacky Idea. <laughs> what the heck, dude? The things and I make the money. Please, I'm very desperate. Bingo. He doesn't like that. He doesn't like that Wally guy, I guess. Do you feel that? Oh shit! Is that a hell shake? A hell shake? <laughs> don't panic, Moxie. I'm not panicking. Yeah, don't panic, dude. Hell breaks don't happen. Stop getting hysterical, fatty. Hell breaks don't happen. Bro, everybody else is hysterical. I love the irony. Don't be afraid. And please tell me you got that insurance thing. Who are you and what are you? The want? amazing tw imp twins, Blitz and his sister. Could have just used the door, dude. It doesn't need to be this whole thing. <laughs> I am eccentric and must therefore do eccentric shit. <laughs> Yo, what? I am eccentric, so I therefore should do eccentric shit. Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> oh, this old fuck reeks of the living world. Did you just die? Yes, moments ago, in fact, which is what brought me here. Just saying. The front door would have gotten you here. Just now. saying, huh? Yeah, furry. This is the man I'm gonna need you to kill. Call him a furry, bro. Time in hell and already plotting revenge. I can respect a man with that sort of passion. I'm <laughs> is silent. What? Oh. Oh, thank you. Now, what's the tea, sis? The tea? Guys, help. Yeah, why are we killing this guy? I mean, what did he do to you? Oh, Poor you dude. My business partner. Oh. You see, I was not always an old man. My partner Lyle and I ran Lyle. Very dramatic reenactment from earlier that day. Empire. Earlier today, we were testing a new machine. In Dr. Robotnik, bro? The, the age of fire. That could have saved all three trillionaires. Unfortunately, oh. we neglected to test the machine. All oh, three four. trillionaires. <laughs> we were too sure of our own genius. But the machine was accidentally set. Bro, what? <laughs> it was too late. At least for me. What? Well, why? So why does he want to kill the partner? Oh, was evil son of a bitch is going to take over the empire we built together without me to share it with him? Make all the goddamn money in the world. Okay, so it's the just fourth <laughs> the fourth trillion there. Right, so yeah, that's not really evil. Yeah, it's not evil. evil you just me. <laughs> dude. He's going dark. Now get your crimson asses up above and send that heartless, no good son of a bitch to hell. Said crimson's asses. You, you do know Poopty. Poopty. <laughs> Poopty. If we do kill him though, and he ends up down here, you know, you will be stuck with him. True. Ever. Oh, trust me. I'm counting on it. Oh. That's kind of hot. <laughs> That's kind of hot. I wonder whose house this is. And to your right is the home of famous inventor Lyle Lipton. Ooh. <laughs> Let's do it, gang. It's time to kill Lyle Lipton, bro. Let's kill this rich guy. 
by three Look at the money. stalkers about to attempt murder. <laughs> what Things the hell, like bro? To famous people all the time. Yeah, it's just great, dude. <laughs> Let's take pictures of it and say, call in the police, dude. Wow. That machine really did a number on him. Is he crying over his Goodbye, best friend? My one true love. All the riches of the world can't fill the emptiness I'm feeling now that my shitty old body can't do anything of value. Oh, fantastic. He's going to do our job for us. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Should we go in there and tie it for him? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm eating popcorn and shit. Oh, what? The cherub's taking him. The angels. Oh, Lord, I'm being haunted by ugly orphan children now. <laughs> oh no, sir, those are cherub. Mr. Lyle, I hate filthy, stinking orphan children. <laughs> what? You're here to you kill yourself, sir, to grant you a blessing on behalf of those in heaven. It's a pony, bro. Technological advances. Oh hell no! Yo, they're stealing Blitz's work, dude. Lyle Lipton, it is our. <laughs> What the hell, dude? You should continue the process to of self deletion, bro. What do you expect to do with all these money now? You're What's up? And gross. Is that a serious question? He can help spread his wealth around with the people of the world and do so much good. With Is that what he was gonna do, though? He wasn't gonna. Yeah, no. <laughs> he wasn't gonna do that. Why won't you let me die? Oh, sounds like you need help off in yourself, there, buddy. Moxie, what do we got? Jesus. I have some assault weapons, crossbow, honey bow, tommy gun, old fashioned shotgun, revolvers, and three colors, chainsaws, katanas. He's classier than that. <laughs> oh, he's cold. Plenty of reasons to live, Mr. Lyle. Yeah, right. Smells like he ain't been out of bed in months. <laughs> I think his bedpan needs to be changed. Wilderness. Mother nature, dude. If you were to end your life, you'd be missing all of this. You can't enjo enjoy it, though. Shit from a baby and a sheep at fucks. <laughs> That's so inappropriate! Oh, kiss our ass, prude! Anyway, take it from me, a fellow genius. Nature is no picnic up close. <laughs> stop looking! I can't stop! I never wanted to die more than I <laughs> My goodness, dude! Yo, that poor lumberjack. <laughs> Fucking blitz, dude. Oh lord, where are we now? Oh, let me perish. We're is here he... to show you another thing life is worth living for. A retail oh, store? Santa. Look at those sweet disease ridden vermin. Their joy comes from innocence unspoiled by the burdens of adulthood mm. yeah. and their middle class existence. Oh, yeah. Such simple joy. Their middle class existence, it is bro. Inspiring. Ew, he ate that. Thank you for showing me this. Hey, dipshit! Wanna see whose lap you're sitting on? Oh, oh, cuties? Bruh, he was a fan of that movie, Cuties? This place reeks of teenage lovers lookout, I guess. Lovers lookout, sir. We're here to remind you about possibly life's greatest joy of all. Money. No. <laughs> Money. I've never been in love before. I imagine it's quite nice. It's not too late, sir. You can still find. <laughs> nice try, ugly. <laughs> hey, horny lovers. Which one of you would wonder if that's how Blitz's man? sister dresses, dude? No, you three are so utterly cruel. We're just trying to give hope to someone in need. Oh, and you three are so superior to us just because we want some selfish, greedy, authoritarian capitalist to keel over dead. Tell him, Moxie. You're making things too real now, Moxie. <laughs> too real, bro. Did that say piss? There was piss in that bottle? Why is he riding a unicorn, bro? So, how do we make these bay? We can't. There's literally nothing bad about opera. That's fact. Well, Moxie probably likes opera, dude. 
very good. <laughs> Is she gonna have a heart attack or something? What? Oh. So are they? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Oh. They're pulling out the arrows, huh? Okay, and he paid in advance, and I spent it all on this. Oh, marijuana! No fucking way, dude. Your hide is nothing but dirt that shitty dead people tread on, and now you're trying to meddle with the lives of humans. So are you? So why don't you shut your trap? Oh shit! <laughs> Cupid's arrow, dude. Yo. Imps versus cher cherubs? Alright then, dude. That's right, Moxie. Save your wife. Damn, Moxie and Millie. Oh, damn, dude. They messing people up while making out, dude. It's all starting to make sense now. Oh boy. Life is worth living because we only get one. We must cherish it. If creatures far beyond this living world are going through these lengths over my life, then certainly it's worth living. Killing myself is not the answer. He's gonna die, bro. Plus, I'm still rich. I could just buy all the things. I no longer crave death. Oh. Fourth trillionaire gets to live, dude. Meanwhile, that random lady just got killed, dude. Oh. <laughs> Bruh. Oh. <laughs> Why did it move? Was it meant to be his time? Is that why it moved? It did our job for us. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh, they're gonna have a breakdown. Colin? He said, oh my gosh, bro. Oh, are we gonna see them again in the future? Colin in the chair. Yeah, no, sorry, Cletus, but I'm afraid your actions resulted in the death of a human. I'm afraid you can't Bambi? Go to heaven. Yeah, no. <laughs> Colin, Cletus, yeah. and the girl can't go back, dude. Sorry. Does her name begin yeah. with a C too, the girl? Is there anything we can do? Yeah, no. <laughs> nope. Oh, no. no, you ain't getting back oh, in. Sorry. <laughs> no. But, but we didn't mean to. We never. It was all. Oh, <laughs> they anyway, they booked it, dude. So where are they gonna go now? Oh my goodness, bro. To live again, and we didn't kill him, so we failed. Thanks to those fucking cherubs, he's probably up in heaven now. But you so still got paid, though, didn't you? Shame. All our client wanted was eternal revenge on his business partner, and now the two are forever separated. And now we gotta face the fire of fucking up. Now he's Sir, definitely going to hell. Are you going to tell the client? Oh, I already sent him a text, and we're in failed. Die, sorry, saxophone emoji. <laughs> Explain everything. I was poor Moxie, bro. We thought you went to heaven. Heaven? You don't make millions in technological advances and robotics by not experimenting. Yeah, my goodness, dude. Oh, you no good, heartless son of a bitch. Thank you for reuniting. These two belong where they are, dude. My goodness. The only question now is what do two old genius robotic inventors do now that we're in hell? Did someone say I say Oh no, Wally, bro. And I am looking for creative new people to exploit. 
mean him, <laughs> Yo, and this is so crazy, dude. My walls. Moxie's gonna have to fix all this shit. <laughs> Moxie's dying. Now chill out, Moxie. If you kiss my ass any harder, you'll go right inside me. <laughs> hey, walls. First we deal with heaven's table scraps, now this. I guess you can say you say you have a holy operation here, Blitzo. <laughs> <laughs> I thought the O silent is Blitz. No, because there's a bunch of. <laughs> Get the fuck out! Well, that was an interesting episode dealing with the cherub and seeing the heavenly side of things in this world, right? Of course, that dude wasn't going to end up in heaven. He literally said he experimented on the poor. And now it looks like Wally is going to end up exploiting them through his employment. And I've been told that the imps right there are actually lower ranking demons than even the ones that are killed and brought to this world, right? To hell. So the two inventors are actually higher ranking demons than Mox. Millie, Blitz, and Wally, right? Because they're all imps, if I'm not mistaken. So it's pretty interesting to know that when you get killed, you get turned into a demon, but you're actually a higher ranking demon than ones that are already born in this in hell, you know what I mean? It's pretty interesting. I do wonder if we're going to see the cherubs again at some point. They were disowned from heaven. They're not allowed to go back. So I do wonder if we'll see them again. And I do wonder if we're going to see any other aspect of heaven as well. But I would love to hear your favorite moment from the episode in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching and until next time.